Today we're asking what future for economic and monetary policy in the EU. And of course, this is uh, extremely important. And one thing it's uh, we are uh, saying from the Greek of the European Parliament very clearly is that there is not not such thing as the European recovery. Uh, and on the other hand, the European Green Deal. Those things need to be the same. And just for you to know that we are now uh, having a strong battle uh, also in Brussels on the conditionalities of the recovery plan when it comes to the transition. So we want in the different regulations, and also this is something probably that the Parliament will call in its resolution in the, um, uh, that we will be voting when the uh, European Council reaches an agreement. We want really that this money puts all the economies on track to reach uh, the Paris Agreement targets of the energetic transition. I, I feel somehow reminded of 2008 and I think that the main problem with, the, uh, with this recovery plan is that its basic neoliberal uh, character um, still remains. And what seems to be a somehow Keynesian approach actually is uh, is not a Keynesian, but a neoliberal approach. I mean, the, the two main focuses of the recovery program are the healthcare system on the one hand and businesses on the other. Uh, so it actually certainly means a lot of transfer to the to the business community once more, even if uh, small and medium-sized enterprises are mentioned as one focus, I think it's still a huge transfer uh, to capital. This attempt to save capitalism in Europe is actually risking to strengthen uh, nationalism and finally uh, further disintegrate the European Union, actually. Certainly, for the fiscal support, if you support the entire economy, effectively, the sort of economy you're building is a state-run economy on the downside when it goes badly, and a market economy on the upside when things go well. And certainly this is not without consequences. This is fundamentally called moral hazard. On the monetary support of financial markets, um, let's put things in perspective, and this goes way beyond the, 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 the COVID-19 crisis. For the past 25 years, really, both in the US and, and in the EU, we've seen an, an unwritten mandate of central banks to support financial markets. You know, in, in, in the times where Alan Greenspan was, was the chair of the Federal Reserve, uh, there was the so-called Greenspan put, which effectively, effectively said that each time financial markets were going down, the Fed would intervene to support financial markets. Mm -hmm.